Once you have scheduling activated on your account, you will see more options when accessing your name icon, then settings. First off, select scheduling, then choose general. Start off by choosing from the list of employees who will be scheduling administrators. Working down the page, select the appropriate options regarding allowing employees to advise their availability. And show hours in quarter, which feeds through to the reporting elements of Sage HR. Specify how you wish to handle shifts spanning midnight, and specify your rules around booking time off and adding shifts. When you are happy with your settings, click Save. From the left, click Schedule Groups. In here, we will specify which employees can access the scheduling functionality. From the top click, Add Group. Specify a name. Tick the Enable Open Shifts box if you want the shift administrators to be able to add open shifts that the employees can pick up themselves. And click Save. Now you can select who to include in this group. The role of the group managers are to plan the shifts for the employees in the group. Once you have included the right employees, click Save. Now this group has been created, you have the option to edit or delete it if necessary. You can add more employees through eligibility. Use the Limits button to apply further rules. To create predefined templates for shifts, click Shift Templates. From the top click, Add New. Start with naming the shift and then specifying the hours. How long the unpaid break is. And which groups can use this template. When you are done, click Add. Open Shift Templates can also be added by clicking on the Add New button under Open Shift Templates. Enter the required information and specify the amount of open shifts you would like to link to this template. Click on Add. As seen when adding a template, you can have areas and assign templates to these areas. From the left menu click Areas. From the top click Add Area. Specify the name and click Save. To add employees to this area, click Employees. Once you have selected the required employees, click Save. 